to send players to other coaches via fast trade, there's two ways you can do this. One is to select multiple plays, right click and fast trade. Another option would be to do the same thing. You go fast trade, send plays from the top menu. Either way, you get to the same point from select the email that you're set up for to simply type the email address, for example, at email.com or any email for the coach you want to send it to. Make sure it's the email that they use for their fast draw account so that they actually get it into their fast draw account. Once you've gone through there, you can also have the option of adding to lists. You can edit your list, give them different names, and you can have multiple emails all in the one. And then we might just say for plays for next season or for scout or whatever you want. And then message, you can type whatever you like here, like a normal email. Hit send and it will go to the people you've selected. Now I've already sent some. So to receive fast trade, we can go into fast trade manager which brings up this pop-up box here. And you'll see that I've already sent five plays to myself. These have all come from the play bank, but it's the same way. So here is where you'd see any of the message that was sent. Now I can do one at a time or I can select all the plays that are relevant and I can add to library from here. So when I add to library, all checked messages, they'll come through. Now what you'll see is that they've all come through. <coughs> they've all come through as playbooks. Now, I don't need them as playbooks. I just want the plays. And if you can see here, if I check those ones, these plays here from Fast Draw Playbank, if I go by series, they'll be at the bottom. So series, because they've come from Playbank, is a new coach's name. If I sent this play to you, it would come through with sideline and Fast Draw Demo as a team. Because these are off Playbank, they're the coach's names in the series, and then Fast Draw Playbank as a team. So now if I know that this is a sideline out of bounds, I'd go in and I'd change that to sideline. I'd leave that as play bank unless I want to add it to a team specifically for my account. Okay, the next thing would be the fast share feature. So this button here to fast share or you can go file fast share. Either way, they take you to the same point. The first time you use it, you'll have to select an option as to how, what you want to name it and how you want to save it. But after that, it's as simple as hitting the file share button, start sharing, and then it connects, uploads, changes, and then downloads from the server. So file share complete, let you know it's done, hit OK, and you're good to go. File share uploads your data to our server. It also retrieves anything from your account on our server. So if you have more than one account, or if you're using more than one device, everything you see or everything that's in your account will get uploaded to your ser our server to your account. Then if I was to go onto a new device, I can retrieve everything here onto that device. Now, one thing you would like to know is go to file program settings, fast share, and you can ask to start, ask to fast share on startup or shutdown or both. That way, every time you open or close it, you'll be prompted with that. To access Fast Draw Web, simply go to fastscout.fastmodelsports.com and log in using your email and password for your Fast Draw account. We recommend using Google Chrome because that's what it was designed on. Now, when you log in, you'll see that all these plays, including the ones that we just sent via Fast Trade, will be visible. If you didn't use a Fast Share feature, then nothing would have come through. You can click through, you can filter it the same way you can on Fast Draw. The only thing we can't really do is actually create new plays. So if we look at this one that we just sent through, we can see these little mobile icons here. Some are blue and most are gray. If you hover over, you'll see that mobile access is enabled or it's not enabled. So I can simply click on the button, select all, select just one coach, select a couple of coaches, or select players only, or select you know, one coach and one player. So depending on how you've got your um, account set up, they can be done differently. Simply select save, and now you'll see that will turn blue shortly. And now we know that this has mobile access enabled. Another option is to click the mobile access button. Then I can select all or select multiple. So I'll check some new ones and two other ones. Manage access. And now you'll see the dash because one had some, some had none and one had all. So now if I select all, 
save, and then cancel. All these ones now that have come through, so this one was a new one, everyone selected. The one we just set up before, now everyone is selected. So you'll be able to make those changes as you see fit and give that access as you want. Now, we can also add video. So this icon here shows that I've attached a video to this play. To add a video, we can go into oh, two parts labs, simply go to the add video button from computer. And then we've got some files. So we'll just say this mic and drill, select the video and it will start to upload. So once it's loaded, you'll see there's 14 seconds. You can play it from here. You'll also see that little icon's attached there. Now, if we hop over to videos, you'll see that I've already uploaded a video. To do that, it's the exact same way. We can go add video from computer, drag to, and they'll upload essentially the same way. When giving mobile access, it's the same thing. Click the icon. You can see that and you can also see how many times it's been viewed by different coaches or players. Now, again, click the same button and you'll be able to add the same way. You're able to edit the title. So it might be transition drag screen. Description might be something like setup defender, attack middle of paint. And now when we go into the mobile app, you'll see how this all ties together. So another thing we can do if we go back to plays is there's this tab here for playbooks. Now, any playbooks that we have will come through. So I've got demo playbook and examples playbook. Again, you can click to view and how you, you know, how you've designed them, how you formatted them, they'll come through the same way. So you can scroll through and see that. And I've got a demo playbook that I've used previously. And that will just preview the PDF version of it. So again, anything with colors, that will come through as it was. Any formatting, all that comes straight through. You can attach a video to the entire playbook. Again, done the same way. You can show videos that are attached to that. Now, once you open the Fast Scout app on your mobile device, now I'm using an Android, it will look very similar, but maybe a little bit different on an, on an Apple. However, you'll see down the bottom, you have Scouts, Plays, Playbooks, and Videos. Now, Scout obviously related to Fast Scout, but Plays, anything that I've given access to my account on a mobile device, I'll be able to see. So we won't see everything that we did see on Fast Draw Web. However, these are the ones we've given access to, and you'll notice two pass layups, as well as Horns 54, have this symbol in the, in the corner here, the Play video. So you'll see that there's a video attached. You'll also see the play and I can click the zoom out button or zoom in button to see it full screen or as close to or I can click the thumbnail and get a full screen image but I can't swipe anywhere I'd have to click back and click on the next one to view that. Personally I prefer the close-up view so I can just quickly go through and still see the description. For the video simply click play and it'll start playing. You have the option to cast if you're on Wi-Fi, picture in picture, if you want to look at other apps at the same time or make any edits here or the speed of the clip. Now if we click back, play without video, same options just without the video obviously. And if we go into playbooks, you'll see what again whatever I've given mobile access to for this account. So my account might be different to the next coach and it might be different again to a player. This one doesn't have a video, this one does. If I tap on example of playbook, you'll see this here. If I click view PDF, then it will open my PDF viewer on my phone and you'll be able to see the playbook there. Now if I jump back, I can click play all or individual videos. If I hit play all, you'll see that it's going to play away one all the way through. I'll tap it to play at two times speed just to get through this. Then once the play is over, it's going to go straight on to the next. So down five will be ran. Then I'll go to drag two. Now that was a video formatting issue from my computer, not the app, but you see how that flows through. Now if we go to the last tab, which is videos, you'll see the name of the video as well as the description or the notes that we've given. Again, I can click play and it'll play with the same options up the top here. 
and any notes that I've put in will come up here so your players will be able to read that. Now if you click back, if you have multiple videos, you'll be able to click this play button and it will just play them all similar to how you saw them on the playbook. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at fastmodelsports.com and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.